In this video, let's talk briefly about surgery for trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is a severe shock-like pain that comes across one side of the face. Between episodes, usually the patients don't experience any additional symptoms. Patients with trigeminal neuralgia usually respond to medication initially, and then their symptoms recur. We check an MRI looking for a lesion, such as a tumor, maybe multiple sclerosis, or in the most common case, an artery that is pulsating against the nerve as it exits the brainstem. In that situation, surgery can be very helpful for patients with trigeminal neuralgia. The surgery is a craniotomy performed under general anesthesia. The incision is behind the ear. We make a small hole in the bone and then open up the covering of the brain. We go around the cerebellum to the trigeminal nerve under the microscope and then carefully dissect the offending vessel away from the nerve. Typically, we'll, we will put a piece of padding to protect the nerve for durable results. The surgery takes a couple of hours. The patients are typically in the ICU for one night and then may discharge after that or maybe spend a night on the floor. The risk of the surgery is about two or three percent. The most common causes of problems being spinal fluid leak after surgery and irritation of the cranial nerves. In some patients, they can experience some hearing loss, which is usually temporary. Trigeminal neuralgia surgery is typically very effective for short and long-term relief of trigeminal pain, and the patients uh, can have significant improvement in their quality of life with surgery.